I chose Southampton mostly for the atmosphere and for the facilities. I got the chance to visit when I was at sixth form and I just loved it so much. <laughs> Studying at Southampton's been really amazing. Um, I think the highlight for me would be my third year project. Got the chance to kind of combine the subject area I was studying with other interests. So I ended up doing machine learning with a little bit of biology, um, which was just fantastic for me. And it's really encouraged me to go on into research in the same area. I'm going to be starting a PhD in September and uh, spending another four years here. I'm going to be doing a PhD using machine learning and computer vision combined with marine biology, looking at images of the seafloor. My job will be kind of making biologists' lives easier, automatically identifying species of crabs and volumes of coral and things like that. I've had some really good career support at the University of Southampton. Um, there are loads of events like pizza nights and things and um, actually at a bank event uh, I ended up then getting enrolled on in a summer internship. Um, and it was just an amazing experience and that was all because of the university's careers events. So at Morgan Stanley I was working on databases and things, working with the tech team. Uh, it was really amazing, I got to go to Canary Wharf and I was just a couple of floors above the trading floor every day. It was a really lively environment, it was really great. I got the chance to learn so many new things at Southampton. Obviously on my course but also in all the societies I joined and things. I learned a little bit of dance, I did music. Um, I ended up volunteering in schools, teaching. Um, I'd say I've learnt so many new skills here, like outside of my course. Um, it's really helped me grow. Southampton's a really lovely place to live, especially during term time. It's so lively. Um, the amount of different music venues and pubs and bars is amazing. Um, yeah, it's, it's been fantastic. The one word I'd use to sum up my experience in Southampton would probably have to be challenging.